Hello and welcome to another episode of Green Sofa Reviews. Today I'm going to show you how to do a shine on a new pair of shoes. So these are my new Allen Edmund McKenzie's and you can tell I've already worn them once. They got a few creases. Um, I'm still waiting on my shoe treats to come in the mail for these. So the shoe trees would help with these creases right here and keep them from forming like this. But you can see even still, I mean, these shoes are just gorgeous. Like I said, they're Allen Edmund McKenzie's and they're the uh, second chance ones. So instead of about 450, I paid 200 bucks. Because if you can tell, I don't know if you can see, but about right in there, there's a little mark. And on this shoe, right in there, there's where some of the stitching isn't quite as nice. So because of a few imperfections, I saved over $200 on a beautiful pair of shoes. I love these McKenzie's. They're whole cut, but then they have broguing on the toes. So they're a little less formal. So what we're going to do today is do a new shoe polish. So we're going to start with the Severe, the Saphir Renovateur. And this is mink oil based. So it's going to clean the leather as well as uh, nourishing the leather. That mink oil is just going to keep it soft and supple because as these are the second chance ones, there's a good chance that they've been sitting on the shelf for quite a while. So we'll just get a little bit of that and kind of dab it on and then just start working it in. And you'll, even on these, you'll notice where the leather starts to darken a little bit. And you can just see where the, the shoe is already soaking it up. Especially those creases are made. I can, I can just feel the leather soaking it up. So these are definitely sitting out for a little while. So I'm going to work this in and you can join me back when we're ready for the next step. So I'm applying the second coat of Saphir Renovateur on my Allen Edmund McKenzie's and this mink oil based shoe nourishment is just, it is fantastic. It is working a treat on these shoes. I mean, I don't know if you can tell the difference between the two yet or not because this is still soaking in. But just holding them, you can feel it's already it's already made the leather softer on this one than on this one. And one thing I did want to point out is as you're going, make sure with your cloth you get between the welt and the leather right here. That way all the leather gets nourished. Because I noticed in a lot of the videos I watch, they'll go all over the shoe but they don't always get between that welt right there, the stitching and the leather upper and the leather vamp and the uh, toe box. So make sure you do that because that'll make a big difference in the longevity of your shoe. Because that's going to be the first place that gets any water or salt, snow, and that's where the leather shoe meets the leather sole. So it, it would make sense to keep that the most nourished. So that way your shoe doesn't come apart. Now I'm going to finish up this second coat and then we'll move on to the cream polish. Now I'm actually going to be doing a lighter coat. These are dark brown as you can see, but I want to lighten them up just a little bit. I think it'll add a nice touch to it, and I'll be using the uh, Saphir Cream Polish, which is shea butter based, and it is smells good, 
and it's going to lighten these up just a touch. It is pigment based, it's not going to lighten them up tremendously, but I think it's going to make these look a real treat. So come back when I'm ready to put the uh, polish on and we'll see what happens. So I have applied three coats of the Saphir Renovator Mink Oil based cleaner and conditioner and I've applied it to this guy right here so I don't know if it'll come out well in uh, this video but it just looks so much better than this shoe right here this shoe has had nothing done to it it's just been gone over with a horsehair brush and that's it just feeling it feeling the leather on here this feels so much softer than this one does now I mean, this is soft leather, don't get me wrong. But the one that's had the Renovator, that mink oil based, feels so much softer now. So I'm going to do the Saphir. And this is uh, their cream polish. It is shea butter based. And this is their light brown. As you can see, this is a dark brown shoe. But I want to try something and see how this will look if we lighten it up just a little bit. So I'm going to put it on, give it a shot, and see what happens because you can always take this off. So let's go on an adventure together and find out what happens. All right, so let's get started with the polish and let's see what happens. As I'm spreading it on, it, because it's such a dark shoe, this lighter color, I mean, you can tell it's going on, but it's not really doing much of, of anything other than I guess it's going to put a nice polish to it. And there is some pigment in it, so it's obviously coloring the shoe, but because it's so dark, it's not going to be a very strong coloring. You want to do moderate pressure in a circular motion on the shoe just to really work that polish in there because this is also going to help nourish that leather and just ensure that this lasts and it looks nice and it stays looking nice because obviously as you start wearing this out out and about you're going to get rained on you're going to bump it and this will just help protect against moderate scratches it'll help protect against the weather it'll help protect against just kind of regular moderate day-to-day -day wear now the wax that we're going to put on will really be that final touch that'll add some shine and add that real final layer of protection that that nice hard wax will elevate the shine while giving it the real protection from the elements and that'll keep uh, your shoe from discoloring because of water and it'll just and that'll also add extra protection against scratches because I mean wearing this out if you bump up against something with no wax your shoes gonna scratch I can promise you that I've got a pair I bump my foot up against something nice little scratch in it I have another pair of shoes I bumped my foot up against something but I had I have a couple of layers of wax especially on the toe box there was a little tiny scratch but it buffed right out so it's just that added layer of protection plus it just ma it makes the shoe look nice to have that elevated shine from the wax right. I'm gonna do this for a couple of minutes and then I'll show you the wax. So join me in just a couple of minutes. Alright, so as you can see I actually went ahead and put on a few coats of the uh, Saphir Medal Dior wax and I did one coat and one coat only over the whole shoe because any more than that and especially right where it's creasing you can see the way I walk 
once you get it in here more than one coat it, it'll start cracking the wax and it'll leave a, a residue which is hard to get rid of when you're out and about and don't have a brush but I have put two coats on the toe box and on the back and this is the untouched shoe right here I've done nothing to this now I know in these pictures you can't really see a whole heck of a lot of difference but if you'll notice let me scoot this over and put this in the same spot just look how much more light that's picking up that's the shine on here the camera I have is okay it's not the greatest so it's not going to pick up a ton of detail but just look at the amount of light that that's picking up versus that that's that wax that's that shine and when you're out and about trust me it gets noticed and I'm gonna go ahead and do another coat on the toe box and then when I go to buff that instead of using the brush I am going to take a uh, cloth and some ice cold water and then use a little bit more of the wax to buff that in and it will make it shine even more so I'll show you that in just a second okay so we have the final coat of the Medal Dior wax and it just looks a treat I don't know how well it's going to come out in this video but I promise you in person it makes all the difference the shine the sheen the just depth to these shoes now is uncanny I mean it's absolutely beautiful and I will show you what I did here in just a second to get this okay so you can see the shoes this one's done this one I'm going to work on later on but with this a good horsehair brush is your best friend when it comes to shining and keeping your shoes looking immaculate I definitely recommend getting a good quality horsehair brush uh, this particular one is Raylan and it's 100% horsehair made in Israel and I love the length here's here's a kiwi just for comparison and I mean you, you can tell that extra length makes all the difference because you're less likely to miss the shoe and hit it with the wood part ruining the finish I mean you have to go back over it you've possibly scratched it and you cover more surface area so you get done more quickly and you have more control but when you're shining on the shoe you know I like to put my hand in the shoe I see where some people will grip it by the heel and you just Obviously you got to do more than just that. That's just a quick little preview of what you should do. But it does. It makes all the difference. Even if you don't have any polish. Even if you're out of polish completely. A brush. Just brushing the leather will make a huge difference. Now obviously with lower quality shoes you want to take extra care so you don't ruin the finish because some of the some lower quality shoes you can mess up the finish uh, these Allen Edmonds while they're not the best in the world they are a pretty decent ready to wear shoe um, they're not going to be as nice as say like a George Cleverly but they also don't have that price tag 
and they shine up very nicely. They're very comfortable. Like I said, I've already worn these on two separate occasions, and they are just so comfortable. And now, they have the shine to go with that look. And I highly recommend the Saphir brand of polish. I've used Kiwi, I've used, um, don't remember the name of another one, but Saphir Saphir just seems to be the best quality. It goes on so easy. It smells nice. And it it, it doesn't cake. Especially the kiwi. The kiwi stuff, it's, it's okay. You know, it's readily available in most grocery stores. And it's better than nothing. But I, I would highly recommend just waiting and ordering some Saphir branded shoe polish and wax. And definitely, definitely, definitely get the Renovator. That mink oil makes all the difference to your shoes, especially putting this on and then the cream polish and then the wax will just nourish the shoe, elevate the shine, protect it, and just make the shoe last. Nice shoes are an investment. I mean, I have some, you know, cheap Cole Hans that I've had for years because I've taken care of them. And especially those nice shoes, when you start spending a couple of hundred to a thousand to two thousand dollars for your ready to wear and then more for a bespoke shoe, you'll want to take care of it. So make sure you get yourself a nice horsehair brush, good polishes and waxes and these uh, conditioners for the leather. Uh, if you have any questions about any of this, leave a comment uh, down below. I'll read all of them and answer all of them personally. Um, I can do a much more in-depth video where I really go over everything. I just want to do a quick, you know, show you the difference between, you know, fresh out of the box, worn once or twice, versus actually polishing it up. And I know it's hard to see on camera. I'm working on getting a better camera. But I promise you, in person, it makes a huge difference. I mean, just the feel. This, this is the first time I've, I've used the Renovator. I've seen um, shoes from friends who have used it. But just doing it myself and then really feeling that difference in the leather and just how soft it felt after doing that Renovator. It just it says to me that now my shoes are protected and they're going to last. And I love that. I love having a nice pair of shoes. It's one of the first things that people notice when they look at you. Your shoes and your watch. Always, always, always make sure that you have taken care of your shoes. Even if you just have tennis shoes, go over them with soap and water and clean your tennis shoes. It makes a big difference. So that's it for this episode. Um... I've got another one where I'm going to attempt to repair some shoes that I scuffed really badly. Don't know how it's going to turn out, uh, but come back and join me for that. And I'll have some more videos. Like I said, come back for the Fallout videos. Once that beta drops, I'll have videos on that. Um, I've got a video coming up on the Razer phone, as well as the iPhone XS, and then a comparison between the two. So come back and join me for those. Please like and subscribe, leave a comment, and just thank you for watching. Take care.